hey guys, congratulations, you have made it. If you've managed to stay the course to three whole days of protein, you're not only now in a mild ketosis state, but you've set yourself up for some fat shrinking. And I think personally that the commitment to these past three days does a lot more, because it means that you've got a 70 to 80% chance of completing the cycle successfully. And the weight loss phase is only starting today, so that in itself should be good news. And yes, of course, cravings are going to pop up, don't they always? And we are going to deal with them over the next few days and the next few weeks. You're going to be mastering how to control cravings, what to do in emergency when one strikes you, and also what the longer term solutions are, because it's other factors that can also play a key role, like lack of sleep, bad, bad night's sleep, or lack of willpower, and we've got ways of dealing with this in this program. But typically, if you ate a lot of sweets or you've cut out sugar, it's going to be utter chaos inside your head and your body for a while. Remember the reptilian brain? And that's why I also rely so heavily on good supplementation just to fill the gaps and stop the cravings. But you can also trick your body by choosing a convenient protein bar. So definitely rely on those around to help you get through the next few weeks of the program. And also remember your social support circle. But just as metabolic menu teaches your body to fight, to put on weight, initially your reptilian brain is going to fight you to lose. We're also going to be looking at keeping your motivation in high gear because your interest and your enthusiasm is going to play a huge part in your success. And then a key part will be learning about what sabotages you and how we're going to silence those inner thoughts. But first, let's look at today and the next few days as we master just the basics. Your food list choice offers a lot of variety, but now, by now, you've either decided to follow my menu suggestions and my shopping list, and you've printed out the basic pattern and stuck it onto your fridge, or you're going to start experimenting and make up your own just by following my pattern. Mine are pretty boring for now, but bear in mind that boring is good, especially in the beginning. Stimulating your taste buds too much can also cause you to stumble, so just be cautious of being too creative right now. A really big tip for now is watch your portion sizes and your combinations and keep the timing correct. If you don't get it right today, that's okay. It's a learning process and it's one day at a time. Tomorrow will be better. For now, just focus on your habit of drinking water. Keep up your steps and keep your daily journal up to date because it's going to start revealing a lot about what you really do. Some basic guidelines for your menu days, eat three meals a day, a minimum of three protein snacks, and don't go longer than two and a half hours without eating. Don't combine meals or save food for another time, which means don't skip meals or eat less than you're supposed to do. Try preparing your food without oil or fat, so use them for a dressing instead, and make sure your portion sizes are correct. And then you can always spice up your meals with herbs and spices. During the next six weeks, we're going to help you curb your cravings, take control of your brain, your body and your gut to stress less and to feel a lot happier. We're also going to use mental training techniques and strategies to deal with your thinking habits, your self-sabotage, and we're also going to use physical biomodifiers and visualizations, all to drop those kgs for overall health and wellness. Does that sound good? So just stick with me.